It's Friday, 3rd August, and this is Top Stories by Rooster News. Sending out a strong message that he would not endorse or tolerate any violence by Party Carter, DMK Working President MK Stalin on Thursday went to a restaurant in Valasaravakam where his Party Carter, since suspended, had beaten up its owner and staff for not providing them biryani after closing hours and consoled them. Mr. Stalin, who has been busy for the past few days, shuttling between his home and the Kaveri Hospital, where his father and party president M. Karnanadi is coalescing and meeting high-profile visitors, found time to go to the joint with former telecom minister A. Raja, ex-mayor and Saidapet MLA Subramanyam and others. During his visit to the hotel, Mr. Stalin met its owner Tamil Selvan and a hotel worker named Karnanadi who were injured in the attack and expressed his disapproval of the action by his suspended party cadre. Mr. Stalin said he would not allow the dedication and commitment of lakhs of party cadre go to waste due to the unacceptable behavior of a few persons. Apple Inc. became the first $1 trillion publicly listed U.S. company on Thursday, crowning a decade-long rise fueled by its ubiquitous iPhone that transformed it from a niche player in personal computers to a global powerhouse spanning entertainment and communications. The tech company's stock jumped 2.8% to as high as $207.05 bringing its gain to about 9% since Tuesday when it reported June quarter results above expectations and said it bought back 20 billion of its own shares. One of five US companies since the 1980s to take a turn as Wall Street's largest company by market capitalization, Apple could lose its lead to the likes of Alphabet Inc. or Amazon.com if it does not find a major new product or service as demand for smartphones loses steam. Jet Airways said yesterday that it is in talks with employees and key stakeholders to implement cost reduction measures such as cuts in salaries of the staff. According to the airline, the ongoing talks with employees, including pilots, is in line with its stated focus of creating a healthier and more resilient business. Jet Airways has been implementing several measures to help it reduce costs as well as realize higher revenues for desired business efficiencies, the airline said in a statement. Some of these include sales and distribution, payroll and maintenance, among many others. As part of this approach, the airline management is in dialogue with key stakeholders to enlist their full support and cooperation for realizing necessary savings across all parts of the business. Two years after they began operating in Chennai with a team of about 10 drivers, Ma Ola, a bike taxi service run entirely by a team of people with disabilities, now has approximately 24 drivers operating across the city with plans to expand operations across the state. The service was conceived in early 2016 after Mr. Gaddaf and K. Balaji realized the need to provide employment opportunities to people with disabilities. Many of them were given two-wheelers by the state government and we thought that they could put it to good use by starting a bike taxi service, Gaddaf said. During Cyclone Varda, our drivers helped an internet service provider take their engineers across the city to areas where their cables had gotten snapped, he recalled. Food delivery operators based in the city are in talks to rope them in as well. Akshay Venkatesh, a renowned Indian-Australian mathematician, is one of the four winners of mathematics' prestigious Fields Medal, known as the Nobel Prize for Math. New Delhi-born Venkatesh, 36, who is currently teaching at Stanford University, has won the Fields Medal for his profound contributions to an exceptionally broad range of subjects in mathematics. The Fields Medals are awarded once every four years to the most promising mathematicians under the age of 40. His research has been recognized previously with many other awards, including the Ostrowski Prize, 
the Infosys Prize, the Salem Prize and the Sastra Ramanujam Prize. We round up this newscast with fuel prices from key metros. In Delhi, petrol is sold for 76.27 rupees per litre and diesel for 67.83 rupees per litre. In Chennai, petrol is sold for 79.22 rupees per litre and diesel for 71.63 rupees per litre. In Kolkata, petrol is sold for 79.14 rupees per litre and diesel for 70.52 rupees per litre. In Mumbai, petrol is sold for 83.71 rupees per litre and diesel for 72.01 rupees per litre.